In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best routes to beat man defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about getting better at Madden. So if you're looking to get better at Madden 21, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It allows you to be notified basically whenever we release new videos that are going to help you become a better Madden player. We try to do that every single day here on the channel, multiple times a day, to try to give you the best tips in the Madden community. Okay, guys, so I just released an offensive full ebook on the bunch tight end. Now, the bunch tight end, in my opinion, is one of the most effective. I believe it's the most effective and simple offense that you can run in Madden 21 right now. And that's why we wrote an ebook on it. So, if you want to get that ebook, that link is in the description of this video. Now, if you have any questions about the video or this formation that I'm about to break down, go ahead and shoot me a text message. But I wanted to share with you a specific route that comes to us, and it's it's actually not out of any play in this playbook, but but you can use um, plays like Mesh or X-Spot or Stick um, to, to, to get this route if you don't have a slot apprentice or if you don't have um, a hot route master. Now, I think most people um, that have uh, Madden 21 at this point, especially if you're playing Mutt, you're going to probably have the ability to get either a slot apprentice or a hot route master. And if you're playing Regs, I think a lot of people are starting to shift to the Bucks because of how powerful hot route master is. So anyway, all that to say... Those are some key points with this, but this this is a man beater. It's a very simple man beater, but I think it's I think it's actually very very effective. And all we're really going to do here is essentially we're going to take Mike Evans and we're going to put him on a crossing route, and then we're just going to simply put the the tight end on a delay fade. And then the last step that I like to take is I like to take Brown and I like to streak him just straight up the field. And what you'll see here is this streak is going to really open up windows for this crossing route. Now, that's more for zone coverage. But what you'll see is this crossing route gets absolutely phenomenal separation um, against that man-to-man -man coverage, as do most crossing routes um, in this game. But the key with this crossing route and why it works so well, and you can do it from either receiver. It doesn't have to be um, – it doesn't just have to be Mike Evans. It could be any of these three receivers. But when you motion this crossing route over, it really, really makes a big difference in the effect effectiveness against man-to-man -man coverage and the reason why is because this crossing route now becomes unbumpable meaning the defense cannot press it and what you'll notice the more that you run this is it doesn't matter again it doesn't matter any of the receivers can go on this crossing route it doesn't just have to be one guy or the other guy um, they're all going to have really really good results uh, from this motion over crosser as you can see here it's consistently beating man-to-man -man coverage now, one of the most popular defenses in the Madden community right now is to basically put your purple zones at 20 yards and then essentially have one guy in the middle of the field. As you can see right here, this is how I have my defense set up. Everybody's manned up. We also have our safeties in those 20-yard uh, cloud flat, or um, 20 yard curl flat zones. So that's why you like to streak this guy because what the streak is going to do is he's going to basically clear some space for your crosser. And as you can see here, though, if you watch Antonio Brown cross all the way across the formation, if I, if I pass lead that up, I have a pretty good chance at getting that over the top of the defense. Now, we'll talk about that here in just more in just a second. But again, if you want to get the full scheme to this, I actually have a whole entire ebook out on this offense that you can pick up in the description uh, of this video. But basically what it really premises on is... You know, obviously this PA boot overplay is a play that we run a lot on this scheme. But you see here, if I get him wide enough, take a look at this. That purple zone on the left is not playing this, right? Now, yes, Jair Alexander, he does have an ability. And so Jair Alexander was able to basically get there. But let me just show you. Let me just flip the play here. And I'm going to run that same setup. So I've got basically those purples. And then I've got that deep blue zone over the middle of the field. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to watch Antonio Brown. Because I'm going to do the same thing with Antonio Brown. I'm just going to bring him uh, from right to left on a crossing route. And snap him. You know, you can snap him right there. You can also snap him all the way out here. And you'll see here that, and of course, I get I get shamed by the... By the um, the practice mode super sheds that is practice mode a hundred percent but we'll fix that real quick here for you but i just want you to watch the routes and how they develop and if you have time in the pocket to be able to hit this route you're going to have a lot of success with this so once again i'm just going to take antonio brown and put him on a crossing route and then i'm taking i'm having one streak right from the inside receiver one of these two receivers preferably the inside receiver is going to go on the streak but it could be either receiver and what you'll notice here is this crossing route, because it's a hot routed crossing route, it gets a little bit deeper than a standard crossing route. And as you see here, this curl flat defender, I can just pass lead this up right over a 25-yard curl flat. And as you can see, 
it's very, very effective. It gets over the top of that coverage. So in the perfect world, what you could do, and this is kind of a, a meta setup that a lot of people like to do, um, is we all know that tight ends are unbumpable. So you could put a tight end on a crossing route, not saying that that's the, you know, the best thing to do. But like, let's say you don't have Hot Route Master. You could do something like this right here. So you could put um, the tight end on a crossing route, right? And then you could basically, from bunch tight end, you could motion this guy back and essentially have kind of a similar feel. Now, he won't be, um, then because of the, his position, you know, he's not going to be unbumpable, but it's kind of a similar feel. And I'll show you how to do this from like a like a player that, that wouldn't get pressed really quickly here, um, just so you can see this. So this is actually something I really, really like to do out of Bunch Tight End. I'll kind of play some motion games with them, just to think that I'm creating different types of routes. So you might see something like this and motion back over, you know, do all of these different dances and things. Um, but then what you'll see is I go to something essentially like this right here, where I have two crossing routes, a streak, but now you see it comes back across. I find this setup to be actually really, really effective. As you see right there, beats the man coverage right over the middle of the field for an absolute laser. So the point is simply to try the crossing route against man coverage. I'm sure all of you know that by now, but these crossing routes are not all created equal. So for example, let's take a look at Gronkowski's crossing route. That crossing route is a much shallower crossing route than Chris Godwin. And as you can see there, if they're in man coverage on that tight end, they'll be able to defend that. So the better route running you have, the better the crossing route will work for you. But those are a couple of keys to the crossing route in Madden 21 and how to use it specifically from the bunch tight end. One of my favorite, and let me just give you the setup for the road here. And again, if you have any questions or you want to have more information about this offense, go ahead and just shoot me a text message. My number is in the description. But what we'll do is we'll just simply streak Brown. We'll take Mike Evans. We'll put him on a crossing route. And then what we'll do with our running back is we'll just put him on a block and relief route. This is one of my favorite setups. Essentially, you have double crossers, and then you have two checkdowns in the backfield here that you can use in case things get, you know, in, in case things get um, a little shady in the backfield. So you have easy reads um, for your for your offense. So, anyways, guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to beat man coverage in Man 21. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe to the channel. We do new videos every single day. We also stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Um, if you want to come by and hang out, we're always streaming uh, at that time every single night. We always play our subscribers as well. Last thing I wanted to tell you guys before I take off is if you want to get my full Gun Bunch tight end offensive ebook, I believe it is the most effective offense in the Madden community right now. So go ahead and pick it up. That link is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you on tonight's stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.